In this video, I'm going to show you how to download a file. So the first thing we have to do is go to our website and you have to log in. So we can go right at the top and click on log in. If you're a new customer, you'd have to click the register button here and sign up and put in your information to, in order to uh, access the site. If you're a returning customer, it remembers your stuff if you'd like it to. So we're going to go ahead and click log in. So you know you're logged into your account when you can see it'll give you your name here, hi Dane, or whatever your name is, <laughs> and you'll see numbers here. So anytime you see these numbers, if you've never logged into it before, you have 200 set up to whichever subscription plan you signed up for. This one has access to both, so I would have 200 embroidery and 200 stock art images available. Obviously, I've downloaded that many this month. Once you log in, click on an image that you'd like to download. It'll come up with that um, image page. So for digital printing, print cut, screen printing, uh, inkjet laser, screen printing black line, vinyl cutting, vinyl cutting basic. So whatever one you want to choose, click on that. And then now inside this downloads uh, area, all these links will be available. So we can just click it. It tells you you will be charged one download. I'm going to hit download. Now what happens now is if file goes as default on Mac and PCs, it goes to your downloads folder. So here it is. If you happen to move the location from a downloads folder to someplace else, it's going to be up to you to figure out where that is when you lose your file. We've had customers call, they download a file, they don't know where it went on their computer because they changed that location. So by default, it will go to a downloads folder on both platforms. That makes it a whole lot easier to uh, access your files as you download them.